Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, I got some awesome big salmon video for you again today. Uh, my buddy Jimbo came up from out of town and he's caught some big salmon in the river before, but he's never got a big one out on the lake. So I wanted to get him a screamer on the line and uh, let him fight it in. And we managed to do that, caught a beautiful big like 21 pound hen king and uh, we landed it, got some good pictures. He was excited. So I'm going to show you the video of that. That fish came on this exact spoon right here. I'll show you the close up of this spoon. This thing has got chewed up over the last month. This thing has probably caught four or five big kings. This exact spoon here. Uh, this is like a pickle seed pattern, UV pickle seed on a uh, dream weaver. So before I cut to the big salmon action, I want to talk to you a little bit about spoon selection. And over here on the gunnel, I have laid out all the, uh, I guess my best spoons for the year. And this year has been a great year for spoons for me. Uh, last year I caught my biggest fish on a flasher fly rig. Uh, you can jump back to last year's videos if you missed that. I caught a giant 30 pound male on a flasher fly that I tied up custom. But this year it's been all spoons for me. I've been running the meat, I've been running the flasher flies, and uh, my biggest fish and most fish have been coming on riggers on spoons. So I have everything laid out in terms of uh, my best spoons for the year. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what colors I like to use on certain days and different times of the day and all that. So uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll talk about our lineup here. All right, guys, here's our hot lineup for 2022. So we have a little mix here. We have some moonshines on the left. We have a stingray stinger in the middle in the pickle seed pattern UV. And then we have some dream weavers on the right. Uh, these have been my best spoons for the year by far. Uh, in terms of the moonshines, mostly these two right here. This is a standard old carbon 14 right here. And this is the silver carbon. And I had one day in particular where I think we landed five or six mature salmon. And it was all on these two spoons right here. So typically when I first start out in the morning, you're out there, you know, the sun's just coming up. That's when I'm putting all the super glow stuff out there. The blacks, your blacks and your glows. So this is a uh, bad toad. Uh, I'm not sure what this one's called. Maybe ice shadow. And then we have our silver carbon 14 and our standard old school carbon 14. So these are the spoons I'm putting out right off the bat, especially these carbons. These are always going down there, and uh, usually the, they're going to pop off at least once or twice with a, uh, with a good fish first thing in the morning. Now, I want to mention too that, you know, if the fish are deep, especially if it's a cloudy day and you're fishing 70, 80, 90 feet down and that's where the fish are hanging, especially on an overcast day, you can fish this glow, this glow stuff, these moonshines and these carbon 14s. You can fish them all day. Uh, that day I uh, was talking about where we caught, you know, five or six big kings on the carbon 14s. That was a day when those fish were deep. They were like 80 to 90 feet down. And we just ran these things all day on the riggers and they just kept popping. A lot of days, especially when the fish are higher, uh, they'll hammer these things right off the bat. But then you got to brighten it up a little bit, especially on your sunny days. And this year it's been all green for me. Um, this uh, this NBK Dreamweaver right here and right here, that was my best spoon last year. And it's been hot again this year. Uh, but my hottest pattern in spoons this year has definitely been this uh, Pickle Seed UV right here. And this is it in the Stingray Stinger. And this is it over here in the uh, Magnum dream weaver and both both have been going uh depending on the day one's been hotter than the other whatever but this pattern right here has been catching big kings for me from the end of april all the way to now which we're in the beginning of september here now so and the fish are starting to move in on the piers and uh, we got some northeast wind coming in the next few days actually and it's going to cool our water off and i think we're going to have a lot of kings coming in so here's hoping anyway because we got really warm water on shore right now but anyway uh so typically i'm starting out with my blacks and my glows my real bright moonshine stuff and then around i would say you know eight o'clock or so unless it's overcast 
you know, around eight, nine o'clock when things started to brighten up, especially if that sun's out, I'm going to go to my greens. So that's my hot spoon lineup for 2022, guys. I'm going to quit talking and we'll cut to the salmon action. Just let me know if he's going to spoil you. yards on there yeah. 75 right keep that clicker on man is it on no it's on. no it's on Step over to your right. I gotta clear this other rod. Where's he at? Oh, okay, I'm just over here. Go ahead, man. Go to town now. That was 75 down. This one on the screen? Yeah. <clears throat> Good one, Jimbo. It's Jimbo's big king. You're gonna have to keep working them until uh, you get them right like to the corner. Yeah. And then when I tell you to walk back, you're gonna walk back. Because a lot of times they get real squirrely at the boat, man. Reel down. Reel down. Put some pressure on him. You gotta keep his head up. Reel down again. You gotta keep his head up. Alright, walk backwards. Way back, up the middle of the boat. Yeah, baby! <laughs> big hen. It's a big female. Nice job, dude. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, really, you sucked at it, but nice you got it in. <laughs> that big hen, baby. Get some good eggs out of her too. A proof picture we caught something. I only had one hook in her too, but he's in there good. It's funny, like all the ones offshore have been hens, the ones inshore are all males. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the males came in first or something. Yeah, man, hold it up. Let me get it on the GoPro. Can you hold it? Look at that. Is that your biggest one ever? No. Do you love Captain Steve's charters? Yeah, Captain yes. Steve's charters. Yes, Captain Steve's one. mad. 